Hello folks, my name is Jiří Svoboda and welcome to What's New in Helenos 0.14.1. Helenos is a microkernel based operating system designed and written from scratch. It's not a clone, re-implementation or look-alike of any other operating system. We've just made a new release 0.14.1 and without further ado let's look at what's new. So the first thing you will notice is that windows now have a minimize button. So by clicking it we can minimize the window and we restore it simply by clicking the corresponding button on the taskbar. Also if you have multiple windows then you will see that now the active window is highlighted on the taskbar. So you can see which window is actually active. Also, uh, Windows now have a system menu. So if you click this box in the top left corner of the window, you will open the system menu which gives you access to functions such as closing, minimizing the window and so on. You will also notice that uh, we can now have menu entries that are disabled. So it means they are grayed out, you cannot select them. The main point of a system menu is that you can activate it using your keyboard. So instead of clicking it, I can just press F10 and now I can press the left arrow and the down arrow and I will open the system menu and I can move around with the arrow keys and I can, for example, press enter to close the window. The other thing that should be obvious is that now launcher is gone and instead we have a purpose start menu. The launcher was always just more of a test application, but now we have a full start menu with full complement of applications that you can start. You can also control it using your keyboard or using your mouse. I can start an application by clicking on it or I can uh, use the keyboard and also you will notice that some of the letters are underscored which means I can use and just press the corresponding key to, st to start that entry. For example if I press K I will start the task monitor. Now another nice point about this menu is that you as a user can actually edit it. So if we open taskbar configuration utility, we can modify the menu. For example, we can add a new entry <coughs> and we type in the command that we want to run. So app hello and we also need to type in the caption for uh, the menu entry and press OK. Now if you open the menu you will see there is a new entry at the bottom. <coughs> but this is not the best place for it. We want to have it close to other our other demo applications so we can go to the configuration dialog and move it up to where we want to have it. Oh, that was too much. So now it it's changed its position. And we also might want to have an accelerator key so we can add that by typing it in tiled characters around <coughs> the key. And now, just by pressing H, I can start the Hello World application. The taskbar can now operate even if there is no window system. So let's reboot the system without graphics. Now to boot the system in text mode, we just have to edit the kernel command line. Now it's booting. And now we are booted in the text console. Type taskbar, enter. And now I can start.
start applications using my mouse. For example, Barber now supports text mode, or I can just hit enter and select calculator, or I can just start the command line. And once I'm done, I type exit and I'm back in the taskbar. You can see there are no uh, windows because there is no window system, but I still have my start menu and my clock. So we're back in the window system. If you're still here, you're not going to regret it because I'm going to show you something pretty special. So uh, let's have a look at the multi-seat feature of Helenos. So uh, with USB, it's very easy to have multiple pointing devices and keyboards connected to your system. But if all your pointing devices are fighting over a single pointer, they're not very useful. So what can we do with it? Let's start display configuration. You can see there is currently a single seat called Alice configured and we are going to add a new seat. Let's call it Bob. Now you will notice that a new pointer appeared on the screen, but I can't move it yet. I need to assign a pointing device to it. So I will assign a USB mouse. And now I can move both pointers independently. So I'm moving Alice's pointer with my left hand using a track point and I'm moving the other pointer with my right hand using a mouse. So uh, how can we use this? We, uh, I mean, you could use it, especially if you're using a digitizer tablet. It's very useful. You can, uh, if you're like me, used to using track point or touchpad with your left hand, you can use it to control uh, select functions in the painting program and use your right hand to uh, actually paint. I always find it very annoying when my digitizer tablet steals my mouse pointer as soon as I get close to uh, the surface. Uh, there's another way this can be used. So if we actually add a keyboard to the second seat, so let's add, uh, do that now. So let's add um, USB keyboard and now start some application. So each seat not only has a pointer but it also has it also has a keyboard focus. So now you will see there are two active windows and so uh, in the terminal window I can type with one keyboard and in the other window I can type with the other keyboard. So this way, if, especially if you have a big screen, you can have multiple users working simultaneously on the same desktop. And there are some other use cases which we plan to implement in the future, so stay tuned. So now I will show you just the uh, very last bit which is a um, new application. Let's close this really quickly. And there is a new About Helenos application. And you will see this is where the logo from Launcher was moved. So now it's here and you can see the version of the system and your architecture. If you found this interesting and would like to try out Helenos, you can go to our website www.helenos.org and there you will find the download links. Uh, at the time I'm filming this, uh, Helenos hasn't been released yet, so we have the uh, old version, but at the time you're watching it there will be already the link to 0.14.1 and you can also go to the download section to find uh, all the variants for different architectures. You can also go to our GitHub page, github.com slash helenos slash helenos, and there you will find all the latest changes. Okay, that's it for today. If you've made it this far, 
Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.